Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, welcome to Swear Entertainment, uh, where I swear to give you my honest opinion on sports, music, politics, anything that's interesting, and also show you, you know, uh, some nice and wonderful things. Uh, my name is Myron Thomas Sr., and let's get into this divisional weekend in the NFL. Uh, Saturday, we had the first game was the Baltimore Ravens and the Buffalo Bills. Now, I had already had picked the Buffalo Bills to win this game because Baltimore depends on Lamar Jackson. If Lamar Jackson rushes for uh, 70, 75 yards, it, it makes defenses uh, look for him. And when defenses start to look for him, that's when he can start throwing. That's when he can start throwing. He did not have a great game. The defense uh, kept him in check. Buffalo's defense kept him really, really, kept him really, really in check. Stopped the running game. Prevented a lot of big plays. And what can I say? Josh Allen, he's, he's going to be the quarterback of, of, for the future in Buffalo. I really saw a lot of talent. He... He was his pocket awareness, his you know reading defenses, all that type of stuff was right on point. He just methodical. It was methodical. Uh, unfortunately, Lamar Jackson went out. I think it was, it was like the fourth quarter. Once Lamar Jackson really went out, it, it was over. I, I didn't really expect like that Monday night game when he went out against Cleveland. And then all of a sudden he comes running back and he converts to fourth down. I didn't see that. But see, at that point in time, they were already down by like two scores anyway. So they, him coming back and trying to do this miraculous comeback was not, not, it wasn't going to happen. Um, but congratulations to the Buffalo Bills uh, for their win in advancing uh, to the AFC Championship game. I think it's the last time they were in the AFC Championship game I believe that was 93. I believe that it was 93. And that was the time when Buffalo, the Buffalo Bills were really, really good. Uh, they went to four straight Super Bowls from 90 to 93. Uh, they were in the Super Bowl. Uh, and they had great uh, Hall of Fame type players. Bruce Smith, Thurman Thomas, Andre Reid, Jim Kelly. That team... The Buffalo team in the early 90s was not no joke. They, they were an excellent uh, football team. And I see that happening with these Buffalo Bills uh, in the years to come. Next game, the L.A. Rams against the Green Bay Packers. I can't say nothing else about Aaron Rodgers besides he's a great, great, great quarterback. He has probably one of the best offensive lines uh, in, in football. He had time in the pocket that he could just pick the defense apart. Only thing he had to do was wait for the receiver to run their routes. And he was hitting everybody. He was hitting everybody. Um, he passed for over 400, uh, uh, like almost 300 yards, with things like 286. Um, what also helped was the uh, run game, which also took right here, which gave them a huge spark, which they combined for like 188 yards rushing. Um, LA, the offensive line broke down. The defense for Green Bay just kept getting the Jared Goff. You know, and they had to settle for uh, field goals instead of touchdown. Right? Jared Goff got sacked like about four times, three or four times in this game. It just, just not enough. Just not en not enough offense. They they tr by the, by the time they really offense really started clicking, game was over. The game was over. Next game. The Cleveland Browns versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Now,
I believe that the Browns should have won that game. They kept it very close. Besides the two first, the two drives for the two first touchdowns, the defense really set them down and really kept everything in check. You know, uh, no more scores in the end zone. The call for the touchback when the ball went out of the end zone, I thought I thought that was a bogus call, even though I think that, that I guess it's an NFL rule. But I was like, that's the turning point of the game. That's the turning point of the game because you basically you deny him, you deny the Browns the score, and then you also deny them the possession. Unfortunately, uh, Patrick Mahomes goes out for uh, for a concussion protocol, uh, and then that Chad Henney, who is a 13-year uh, veteran. Uh, 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 decent backup. Decent backup quarterback. The Browns score score is 22 to 17. You get the ball, you're driving. You get down and within, it's less than three minutes to go in the game. You got fourth down. You go for it. You have nothing to lose. Because if you don't convert the fourth down, they get the ball anyway. But you punt the ball to them, hopefully, hoping that the defense can get you the ball back with enough time. The defense comes, gets a three and out, you get the ball back, and then we score, then we win, bam. But it did not. Chad Henney uh, is a 13-year is a veteran. You know, he's a veteran. You know, a lot of people don't, uh, they take that for granted when the backup comes in. That, like for Andy Dalton, is a significant backup. He's a veteran in this league. When he came in for Dak Prescott, there wasn't, I mean, actually, yes, Dak Prescott is the better quarterback than Andy Dalton. But Andy Dalton also is, a, is an NFL quarterback. He has done the job. So he knows what work he knows. He's we he's done the playbook, all that type of stuff. He so to really believe that because Patrick Mahomes was not in this game and that Chad Henney was in this game, that you turn around here and believe that your defense is going to stop them, that you're going to turn around here and be able to get this ball back with two minutes to go in the game and be able to win this game. It's kind of far fetched. I believe that the Browns should have went for it on that fourth down. Just to see what happened, because at that point you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. You don't make it, they get the ball. You put them away, they get the ball. Why not go for it? Why not go for it? And I understand that's probably was the philosophy of Kevin Stefanski that we go ahead and uh, we're gonna punt this ball. We're gonna punt this ball. That we're gonna uh, get the ball back, and we're gonna have time to get the ball back. But the defense could not stop them. The defense cannot stop them from getting for uh, that uh, that critical first down with with time about to run out, and the Browns were out of timeouts. So it just so Kansas City. Props to you. Uh, uh, we'll see if Patrick Mahomes will be um, up for. Uh, Able to play next weekend in the AFC Championship game against the Buffalo Bills. But due to pro, uh, concussion protocol, even if he's saying as well, you know, it's up to the doctors and, uh, you know, NFL, you know, stuff like that, whether or not he'll be able to be able to play. But it should be a fun, fun AFC Championship game. Now, we have for our last Divisional round game of the weekend, we had Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Two quarterbacks who are definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. Definitely. There is no question ifs and buts about it. Why? If they retire at the same time, they probably will go in at the same time because it's all... It's almost hard to 
to say who to pick who over who. No. Uh, both of these teams started off very, very slow. It was, it was very, very slow. Uh, both ended up on, on drives, kick field goals. Um, it was... They had a lot, a lot of miscues. A lot of miscues. Right? It was a very tight game all the way up until the fourth quarter. When Tampa Bay took the 23-20 to 20 lead, Drew Brees threw a very, 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 very critical, critical interception. And that was the game. That was the game. That was the game. I know Drew Brees, he came back this year because he wanted to, he believed that with this team, that he could win one more. But that was his goal. He said he wanted to win one more. We'll see if he comes back that next year if he decides to retire. Like I said, if he does retire, we'll see five years in camp. But Tom Brady is moving on to the NFC Championship game to face another future Hall of Fame quarterback and Aaron Rodgers, which that should be one heck uh, of an of a NFC championship game. Actually, both NFC, uh, both championship games, the AFC and NFC championship games are, are looking pretty good. You have the defending champions, Kansas City uh, Chiefs, going up against a team that has not seen a Super Bowl in 27 years. You have, uh, and then you have on the other side, on the NFC side, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Tampa Bay hasn't seen a uh, Super Bowl in, what was I think, 2000, no, 2003? Hmm. 2003, something like that. I, I had to look it up. I, I, I have more uh, facts and stuff for you uh, when I cover, when I tell y'all about um, when, once the, uh, we find out who is going to the Super Bowl. And I would like to know what are your picks for the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, my personal picks at this point, since we know who are in the AFC and the NFC Championship games, I would really like to see Buffalo in Tampa Bay. But my gut is telling me that it's going to be Kansas City and Green Bay. But I would like to see Buffalo and Tampa Bay. I would like the whole, I don't know, to, because see, I love the storyline. I love storylines. I love the fact that, like, for instance, you'll have a team that has not been there in 27 years, young quarterback, young team against Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, who's went to a new team and has led them right back to the Super Bowl. No, it's no. But on the other hand, you have uh, Kansas City, right? Number one rated offense, defending champions, back, you know, uh, to, to to reclaim their throne with Green Bay, who through uh, all these years, all these years of uh, uh, ever since they won, they uh, last won the Super Bowl, uh, I, uh, and it was against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. That uh, that they would take their rightful place as uh, one of the historic uh, franchises in the NFL. But we we'll soon we'll see. We'll soon we'll see. But it was an exciting weekend. I watched a lot of football. And I'm getting, I'm getting kind of sad because it's getting near the end. Because we got the AFC and NFC Championship games, then we got the Super Bowl, and then, right, we're done to July. <laughs> I mean, unless, you know, um, we, less, you know, let, you know, unless you really like, sometimes I try to get into the combine and all that type of stuff. But we'll get into all that stuff later. 
everybody y'all be easy peace